Hey, welcome to High Performance Athletics. This is the next video in our athlete kind of lecture series. Uh, this video is gonna talk about our community and kind of the inner workings of our community and then talk about some things that we hold near and dear to our heart. So first off, if you go to any functional movement gym in the country or the world for that matter, you, and you ask them what makes them special, they're gonna say three things off the top of their head. They're gonna say, their coaches, they're going to say their programming, and they're going to say their community. And, and I, I hope that every single functional movement gym, functional movement based gym around the country shares the love that I have for our gym community. We have amassed over the course of our time being open, which at, at it's been at least 10 years we've been open, is we have one of the most loving, amazing communities on the planet of people. They're amazing because they come into the gym day after day and they work hard. And that is something that should not be taken lightly. You know these people that you see in the gym are rooted in hard work. They will work hard, and if they work hard in the gym, the, I can only imagine they work hard at their day-to-day -day lives as well. So just good, quality people. When you come into a new facility like this, it's scary. All right? It is very very scary because everybody already knows everybody. All right? And that's a weird thing anyway. You go into a gym and people know your name right off the bat. We got, you know, a front desk person sitting there knowing who's walking in the door. The coaching staff knows who you are. Uh, the people are kind of already talking and milling around before a class or a session even starts and you come in brand new, that's very, very scary. Uh, so I would expect when you come in and you are a little bit newer that people are going to come and talk to you. They're going to come and uh, shake your hand. They're going to come introduce themselves. Uh, and don't be weirded out by this. It's normal. It is normal for them to do that. We want and we encourage our athletes to cross boundaries and, and to introduce themselves to new people with the expectation is once you know, you're no longer new here, you're doing the same thing. And it's okay if you don't recognize somebody to go up and shake their hand and introduce themselves to you. I am not good with names initially, so if I come up and ask your name, uh, which I probably will, uh, it might be two or three times before I get it, and then I'll get it, and it'll be, it'll be rock solid after that. But um, people might ask you a couple times, and that's okay. We, as the, as the gym, love to do icebreakers so that folks can get to know you a little bit, kind of on a, a more personal level. And they're just all innocent icebreakers, but it's still fun to do and fun to be a part of that. So that happens at the beginning of class uh, when you make it to group classes. So don't, um, don't be late to class so you get an opportunity to meet, uh, meet new people. We also program partner workouts um, a lot of times throughout the, the week and the months so that you get to interact with different people. Um, sometimes the coaches pick the partners and that's totally fine. Sometimes we let you, the athletes, pick the partners too. We want you to mix it up as much as possible so that you get a good, well-rounded um, uh, intermixing of who's in the gym, work with guys sometimes, work with girls sometimes, work with tall guys, short guys, doesn't matter who it is. Um, work with a new person so that you can kind of, you know, just build a relationship. Because you never know who you're gonna meet in here. There are doctors and lawyers and CEOs and business owners and just all around good people. And when you start to make those connections, you begin to rely on these people for the day-to-day -day things. Uh, just as a, a quick aside, uh, Jennifer and I had a very, very bad plumbing problem uh, a couple of years ago. Well, lo and behold, one of our athletes is a plumber. He came out to the house and was at our house until, you know, from like four until 10 o'clock at night fixing the problem. And it was great. I knew he was going to do a good job. and I knew that, you know, he was going to work hard and do the right things because he, he, he does that same thing in class. And it's just a wonderful opportunity for, uh, for you guys to, to build your spider web, right? So meet new people is, is the big thing. We also have uh, on the wall, is a, a group of, we call them tribal elders, people that have been here for a long time. Um, look at those pictures, find out who they are, ask them questions about the gym, because they've been around, they've seen it all, and they've, they've kind of seen us grow from a little 
uh, our name was a long time ago, like 10, 11 years ago, was called Structure Fitness. And we grew to, to this where we are today. Really, other than that, your first line of communication and community is going to be your primary instructor. When you uh, come into the gym, you usually get assigned a primary instructor, and if you don't know who yours is, by all means ask, and we will tell you who your primary instructor is. It's usually the person that did your first day is most likely your primary instructor, but sometimes they change a little bit. Kind of depending on some coach turnover and things like that. They might change, so just ask if you're not sure. Um, and then that's the, the person you go to, your primary resource for uh, everything gym related that you don't know. You can ask the primary instructor, and they'll be happy to help you out. It's like your, like your main coach uh, to, to take you through the, the day to day of, of the gym. But no matter who you ask, you can ask any coach these are all people that you, you can trust because you know they're here, they're an integrity person, and they work hard. We also have Jennifer, I'll introduce you to her in a later video. She's our, our co-owner, our CEO, my wife. She is, she and I a long time ago decided that we couldn't do this on our own. We could not successfully run a business without having some mentors and people that we respected their opinion, they would give us honest feedback about running the business day to day. So we also have kind of a board of directors, we call them ambassadors, and you'll see some of those kind of scattered throughout the classes, all throughout the day. There'll be people in here that maybe have a shirt that says ambassador or something kind of special in there, uh, but they're just people that are, are listening to what the athletes say, and they bring that to, to Jennifer and myself once a quarter we meet and we talk about what we're doing right, what we can improve upon, um, and we'll get into above my head the core values uh, down the road, but one of our core values that Jennifer and I hold near and dear is seeking constant improvement, seeking continuous improvement, trying for us to get 1% better as a business every single day too. So the ambassadors help us do that. Um, we've got several events that run every single year without fail. We do a Memorial Day event, we do a July 4th event, we do a, um, uh, an event in the, in the fall called the Gobble Games, it's like a competition we have. Um, the, we, do a, the, like the, we do the CrossFit Open every year too, that's going to be in October. Uh, we do that. We, we do some watch parties. We go out in public together. We do a lot of things. It's just, it's good to be involved as much as you possibly want to be involved. There is a Facebook page that we have. There's also a Facebook page called the CrossFit Social Club. That is our kind of event sounding board. And there's also announcements at every single class that you get to um, be a part of as well. Right now, when you walk in, and if you have any questions, make sure you talk to me or any of the coaches, your primary coach or anybody else in the gym and ask them about these events. They will let you know. We do beach wads too, that's worth mentioning. Um, now, the fun part is you walk to the gym, you might see this big banner or big sign that says um, commandments, the 10 commandments. These are the things we hold near and dear. Gonna just briefly go over them uh, as we're kind of winding up this, this video for you guys. Um, commandments one through five today. So the first one is uh, it's, a, it's an acronym. It's believe unconditionally in yourself and the ability of others. We love that, is doing this stuff, working hard day after day after day, you begin to believe that you can do things that you couldn't do before. And then that belief turns into an unconditional belief that you're able to meet challenges. Okay, that's bare bones what it is. It's we win day after day after day. We win small days in here. Uh, like you, you'll do more work in here than you ever have done before. And you start to build some momentum in your life. And then once you do that, believing unconditionally in yourself, you also have the, the ability to start believing unconditionally in other people too which is amazing. That in itself is what drives the community. Believing unconditionally in yourself first, and then that belief goes to other people as well, and it's a very powerful movement in the gym. You also see on the wall of the gym this banner that says, rise to lift others. Two things. Either you can pull people with you to greater heights, or you can stand underneath them and press them up, right? And it's metaphorically speaking, of course, but I am doing the things that elevate me so that I can bring other people with me. 
Um, in, in the core value standpoint, we, we call it the abundance mentality, and we'll get into that down the road. But believing unconditionally in yourself and the ability of others and rising to lift others kind of go hand in hand with, with our like almost core community value. The second one is stand tall. It's when you're resting, I want you to stand tall. When life throws you a curveball, I want you to stand tall. It's hard sometimes. We all go through these phases and these, these uh, valleys in life, but when you, you hit those and you stand tall and you learn to plant your feet and stand tall against things, uh, it changes who you are as a person. With that said, number three is uh, think and speak positive, positively. We want you to change your mindset. We want you to change your language when you're inside the gym. Instead of immediately saying, I can't, we're gonna change how you, how you view a challenge. We're gonna change how you view an obstacle so that you, you, you flip that script in your head and you're like, I can't wait to try that. Is I'm gonna challenge myself to do it. I think I can, maybe not yet, but I'm gonna work on it until I can. Think and speak positive. The number four is attack your weakness. In life, you've got this big wheel with spokes in it about uh, different avenues that your life has in it. Uh, work, lifestyle, friends, financial, spirituality, whatever the spokes for you are, whatever one that you're least growing in, you need to attack that one with some sort of ferocity. You need to uh, strive to do better at that one day after day after day because that's where you're going to grow the most is by attacking your weaknesses. Same thing in the gym. You find things that you're not good at in the gym. I want you to attack those things. I want you to get with a coach, to practice with a coach and attack those things that you're not good at. It could be something as simple as like learning how to get your body in a better upright position. Simple, but it needs to be attacked. And then number five for us, and we'll kind of close with this, is counting only good reps. And this for us is an integrity piece. I want <clears throat> you to hold yourself accountable for doing the right thing no matter who's watching because your coaching staff does. And the athletes that have been here for a long time, we do, right? When you see us work out, when you see us do things, we try to have this integrity piece in mind is – I'm going to do the right thing no matter who is watching because someone always is watching. In the gym, it's a coach, but in life, it's the community. And at home, if you have kids, it's your kids. Somebody's always watching. Somebody sees what you do every single time. Better yet, people see what you don't do as well. All right, so again, I'm so excited that you guys chose High Performance Athletics for your fitness journey. Our community is amazing. Please, please, please become a part of this today. Thank you guys, see you later.